Konnichiwa everybody and welcome to the class. Well, we will not waste any time over here and immediately start our lesson. In our previous uh, classes, we have uh, been doing adjectives and we covered, if I am not mistaken, uh, I adjectives. So, well today we will continue with adjectives and try to do the other adjective which is the na adjective. So, we will do now na adjectives today, but before I start telling you about na adjectives and about other things, we are again going to do particle they today over here. Now, you see I will just read the dialogue for you A and B. Suika wa ikura desu ka? Suika wa seien desu. Sore wa nihongo de nan desu ka? Kore wa sakuranbo desu. Sakuranbo wa ikura desu ka? Sakuranbo no basketto wa gohyaku en desu. So, well you can look at the picture and see there are two people standing and he is pointing at this object over here and he wants to know what it is called in Japanese. Look at this over here. Hi, for this gentleman it is sore and for this gentleman it is kore. So, kore wa or sore wa nihongo de over here de means in nihongo de nan desu ka. So, what is it called in Japanese? Kore wa sakuranbo desu. Is that all right? So, with particle de as we are doing now, nihongo, nihongo de in Japanese or ego de in English or hindi go de, indo go de nan desu ka. So, what is it called in a certain language? Now, you can practice it over here look at the picture and ask what it is called in Japanese. It is a picture of momo which is peach. Let us see what the question is. Kore wa nihongo de nan desu ka? Momo desu. Simple answer momo desu. We have another picture for you ashtray or haizara. So, let us see what the question is. Haizara wa ego de nan desu ka? What is it? Ashtray desu. Now, we have another picture over here. This is gloves. So, well the question is gloves wa nihongo de nan desu ka? Tebukuro desu. So, this is how you can ask anything about anything what it is called in a certain language or what it is in a certain language. Now, we have done I adjectives as I told you in the beginning in our last lesson. Now, today we will do na adjectives. What did you eat at the hotel? Hotelu de nani wo tabemashita ka? Well, now listen to this audio dialogue and let us see how much you understand. Senshu no party wa dou deshita ka? Ningiyaka na party deshita. Kaijou wa doko deshita ka? Yume na Taj Hotel deshita yo. A so desu ka. Amitsu san kimashita ka? Kimasen deshita. Demo Neha san kimashita yo. Hitori de? Iie, kaisha no tomodachi to issho ni kimashita. Party de oishii mono o tabemashita ka? Takusan no oishii mono o tabemashita. Well, the dialogue is between Arun san and Rao san. I will just read the dialogue and then explain. Senshu no party wa dou deshita ka? Nigiyaka na party deshita. Kaijou wa doko deshita ka? Yume na Taj Hotel deshita yo. So desu ka? Amitsu san kimashita ka? Kimasen deshita. Demo Neha san kimashita yo. Hitori de, iie, kaisha no tomodachi to issho ni kimashita. Party de oishi mono o tabemashita ka? Takusan oishi mono o tabemashita. So, well, this is a simple dialogue between Arun and Rao, 
and there are quite a few new words and I will just explain them to you. Senshu last week, no party wa do desh taka. We did this phrase earlier as well. Do desh taka means how was it? Ningi yakana party desh ta. It was a very very lively party. Kaijo wa doko desh taka. Kaijo is place where the party was held. Yume na taj hotel desh ta yo. Yume na. You will see na is used over here after these words. So, well, they are na adjectives and I will explain why na is used over here a little later. For the time being, you may means very, very famous. You may na taj hotel deshita yo. So desu ka? Amit san kimashita ka? Kimasen deshita. He did not come. Demo neha san kimashita yo. Demo means but. It is a conjunction as you have done soshite which is also a conjunction but it starts a sentence. This is a little different from the conjunctions that we do in English. Hitori de alone again de is used over here. Hitori de means alone. Iie kaisha no tomodachi to issho ni kimashita. He came with his friends from the office. Party de oishimono wo tabemashita ka? Party de. Again we have another de over here. Oishimono wo tabemashita ka? Did you eat good things at the party? Taksan oishimono wo tabemashita. So this is the explanation. Very very short explanation. This is in the script. You can see how kanji Katakana and hiragana are used and this is your explanation in English. One thing I would like to tell you is that this explanation may not be a translation of what we have done just now. This is what one would say in English. Well, we are going to do na adjectives now. I adjectives as I told you earlier are all words ending in I. They are Japanese words but na adjectives are words of Chinese or foreign origin. You have to please remember that and why they are, they are like this is because most of the time these adjectives have two kanji characters which are obviously Chinese in origin and all I adjectives will always have a character and some hiragana. The examples over here are onna no hito wa kirei desu. The woman is beautiful. Kirei na onna no hito desu. So now you can see that na is there. How and why na is used? We will discuss it over here. Na adjectives are Kire, Genki, Yume. We did one over here in the Kaiwa that was Ningi, Yaka. So these are some na adjectives. Of course, you can you can say that they also have an I in the end. But these are exceptions and you have to remember them like that. Now, ma ri ko san wa kire this. Now, what do you understand from this? Well, this is a simple statement. Mariko san wa kire this. Mariko san is pretty. Now, if I say kire Na Mariko Mariko San Des. So I am talking of Mariko San, that Mariko San Kirei na Mariko San Des. Mariko San is very, very beautiful. And now this is a noun, this is an adjective as we did just now over here. When you place an adjective before a noun, then Na is to be put in between. Na comes over here. Over here you can see 
mariko san wa kirei this adjective and verb. So, in such a case na is not going to be used, but if you place or use a na adjective before a noun like this in this case, then na will come. Another example we can have is kodomo wa genki this. The child is very, very happy and healthy and in good shape. Well, genki na kodomo this. The child is very, very happy in good health. Genki na kodomo this. Sorry, genki na kodomo this. So, please in such a manner when you will have adjective and noun over here, then na is going to be used. Please remember that. With na adjectives, that is very, very important. All adjectives, as you know, tell more about noun, talk about the noun, give you more information as to how or what the noun is. So, over here you can use kire and genki and any of the na adjectives like this, but with a na before the noun. Now, shizuka na kodomo desu. He is a quiet child. Kodomo wa shizuka desu. The child is quiet. He is quiet at the moment, but over here he is a quiet child. Generally, he is very, very quiet. Well, now some na adjectives for you. You can repeat after me. The Roman is given over here in the first column, then you have hiragana and then the meaning in English. So, well, genki, kire, shizuka, nigiyaka, hima. Hima is free time, rippa, rippa can be a person and rippa can also be a building or something can also be a rippa. So, please remember a stately grand a person who has a very good personality, something which is grand big is rippa. Then benri, benri is convenient. So, anything can be benri. Of course, person cannot be benri. A book can be benri. It could be convenient to use. A jisho could be benri, which is a dictionary. Uh, a kurma could be benri. It is convenient to drive. A road could be benri. It is easy to use the road. It is free of traffic. It has less signals and it is a smooth road, good road. So, it could be Benri. Then Majime is honest, serious, hard working person is Majime. Majime na hito desu. Now, you can look at the picture and practice Benri na jisho desu. As I just told you, Benri na jisho. Kire na tokoro desu. Tokoro is a place. Kire na oyome san desu. Oyome san is a bride. Kire na oyome san desu. Then we have Shinsetsu na kata desu. Shinsetsu is kind. So, this gentleman, we could call him Tanaka san, is offering his umbrella over here on a rainy day. So, Shinsetsu, he is a kind person. Then, what do we have here? It is a classroom, Kyoshitsu and majime na gakusei desu. Majime is they are all very hard working students. Majime na gakusei desu. And then this last one over here is genki na kodomo desu. Well, we have some more na adjectives for you. Steki na onna no hito desu. Then we have someone singing. Jozu na kashiu desu. 
Jozu is someone who is very good at something, skilled at something and Kashyu is a singer. So, well Jozu na Kashyu san desu. Then we have Yume na Chef san desu. Yume is very, very famous. So, Yume na Chef san desu. And then what do we have over here in this picture? Handsome na hito desu. So, you can also see that lot of English words can be used as na adjectives. Beautiful, pretty na onna no hito desu. Beautiful na onna no hito desu. Then we have kirei na hana and yume na sumo san desu. So, we have these na adjectives you can practice, learn and make sentences. Now, Mariko san wa shinsetsu desu. We have this statement over here Mariko san is shinsetsu. Now, you can replace Mariko san over here with whatever vocabulary you have done and you can replace Shinsetsu with any of the other na adjectives that you have done and make sentences. For example, Oto san wa genki desu. Oka san wa tene desu. Tene is very, very polite. Sensei wa rippa desu. Kono hito wa yume desu. Tokyo wa kirei desu. So, you can also make statements like this and also you can do something very simple. You can have a small dialogue with your friend. You can ask and answer. For example, here it is given A and B. Mariko san wa shinsetsu na hito desu ka? Hai, shinsetsu na hito desu. So, what you can do now is Mariko san wa shin setsu desu. One, it is a statement. You can replace shin setsu with any of the na adjectives that you have done. You may and Mariko san again you can replace with all the vocabulary that we have done earlier. For example, tomo dachi imoto oka san and any other vocabulary that you remember wa shinsetsu desu. Also you can put a ka over here and ask a question. Mariko san wa shinsetsu desu ka? So, the answer would be either in hai or no. So, we will practice hai for the time being and hai shinsetsu desu. Tomodachi wa yume desu ka? Hai yume desu as is given over here in the slide for you. Well, you can see now the second one is Mariko san wa shinsetsu na hito desu ka? Hai, shinsetsu na hito desu. So, over here Mariko san wa shinsetsu na hito. You have done this desu ka? Hai, shinsetsu na hito this. Is it alright? I am sure you can understand this. It is given over here as well. So, you can practice from here. Mariko san wa shinsetsu na hito desu ka? Hai, shinsetsu na hito desu. Instead of Mariko san, you can place any of these. Imoto san wa shizuka na hito desu ka? Hai, shizuka na hito desu. Tomodachi wa teinei na hito desu ka? And instead of hito, if you really want to be very polite, you can also use kata, which is given over here. So, tomodachi wa teinei na kata desu ka? Hai, tomodachi wa teinei na kata desu. 
この建物は有名ですかはいこの建物は有名な建物です東京はきれいなところですかはい東京はきれいなところです So you can practice like this use na this time and practice Now look at the pictures and answer the questions using adjectives So let us see what the picture is Well you have a sweater which is a seta in Japanese and nekutai. So what is the question over here? Tomodachi no tanjoubi desu. Nani wo agimasu ka? Agimasu is to give. Steki na nekutai wo agimasu or takai seta wo agimasu. Do we have now someone listening to music and someone driving a car? So, what is the question? Ashita yasumi desu. Nani wo shimasu ka? Atarashi ongaku wo kikimasu or omoshiroi tokoro e ikimasu. What is next now? Kudamono ga arimasu. Takusan kudamono ga arimasu. そしてコートあります。お母さんに何を送りますか？送りますと send。お母さんに何を送りますか？美味しい果物を送ります。or 綺麗なコートを送ります。Now we had demo in our、uh, conversation in the beginning. As I told you, it's a conjunction. It's a joining particle, and it shows contrast between two things. But one thing you really have to remember is that it is contrast between two similar things, and not two two things from different sets. You cannot say that I I had coffee, and I went to school. Nothing like that. You you cannot use those two. You have to have things of the same. Said as in the example over here. For example, Tanaka san ni aimashita, demo Honda san ni aimasen deshita. You cannot say Tanaka san ni aimashita, demo keiki o tabemasen deshita or nemashita, which is wrong. You have to have of the same set as over here. Kocha o nomimas, demo kohi o nomimasen. So you show contrast between two things of a similar set that you have this and you do not have this. You do this or you do not do this, or you go here and you do not go over there. So please remember with demo, though you show contrast, but it has to be of the same set. Watashi wa niku wo tabemas, demo yasai wo tabemasen. 私も野菜を食べません。Now, for 私 again, you can replace it with any of this over here. And for the noun, 肉 and 野菜 as is given in the example, you can replace it with beer, wine, or 卵、肉 or juice, milk. So you can see that it belongs to a certain set. It's beverages over here. This is Non-vegetarian food over here, and this is something that you drink. So accordingly, you will use the verb in these sentences. Now, we have done a lot of they. We have done for transport. We have done for a group of things. Today we did with Nihongo de. Now, there is another set you do of they with. Another way of using they is with numbers. Hitori de, futari de, sanin de. Hitori is one, futari is two, sanin is three, minna de is all. So, with everyone, only one person, hitori de alone, futari de, two of us, sanin de. Three people. So with numbers, you will use they. As is given over here, 
一人で行きます。みんなで行きましょう。Let's all go. I will go alone. Or, 会社の人と一緒に行きます。I will go with someone from the office. Now, as you can see, it's written over here. When a question word combines with particle mo, as nani mo, it has a negative meaning. So, for example, if you say, ashita nani o shimasu ka? What will you do tomorrow? Ashita nani mo shimasen. I will not do anything. Kino nani o shimashita ka? Kino mo nani mo shimasen deshita. I did not do anything yesterday also. Now, if you look at the example over here, Kesa nani o nomimashita ka? Juice o nomimashita. Is one answer. Then you can also say, Nani mo nomimasen deshita. I did not have anything in the morning. Kesa is today morning. Kesa nani o tabemashita ka? What did you have in the morning? Well, you can say, Nani mo tabemasen deshita. I did not have anything. Or you can also say what you have eaten. For example, Pan to Tamago o tabe mashita. So, you can use it like this. Nani mo can be used in daily conversation and it means nothing and always has a negative verb in the end. Please remember that. That is important with nani mo, verb is always negative. You can practice this nani mo over here. Kesa nani o nomimashita ka? Nani mo nomimasen deshita. Kino nani o nomimashita ka? Or kino nani o tsukurimashita ka? Tsukurimas is to make. Nani mo tsukurimasen deshita. I did not make anything. Now, as we have been doing hiragana in our previous lessons, this series is the na series or the na sound or letter n. Na and you can see the stroke order how it is given. Na. So, the stroke order of course, for this is 1, 2, 3 and then 4. Well, na, ni, nu. It is coming up very nicely and clearly, I am sure. So, you can practice it. Ne and try to write it in a maths notebook where you have big blocks and try to place the letter in a manner that it is right in the center and it looks proportionate. Or you could also practice it on a graph paper actually, that would make it even more easy and convenient. No. You can look at the look at the stroke order and practice at home. Now, we have done these body parts, me, hana, kuchi, ha, mimi, te, ashi, kao. So, well, let us see what it is, me, hana, kuchi, ha, mimi, te, and ashi and then we have kao. So, it is not C O W, it is K A O, please remember that and of course, this part over here, this is the head that is called atama. I will just write it down for you, a ta ma and please do not pronounce it as atma, it is a tama, please remember that. Then, we have done a lot of kanjis in our previous lessons. Today also, we will do some kanji characters. The first one over here is Mimi, which you did just now in the picture. So, well, I will just make Mimi for you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 
6 like this, it ends over here. Once again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 like this. So, this is me, 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 me. Then the next one is go. We have been doing learning Nihongo for the past so many days now. Nihon, you have done, you already know Nihon. Well, go, it is a combination of some characters. This character over here means to say or to speak. Now, this you have already done, Ichi ni san shi and go. And this of course, also you have done, which is kuchi. So, Nihon go, it is like this, ni hon and go, ni hon go. So, go is given over here, it means language. And then of course, the last one is hon, which I just did with you. This is ichi, this is ju, this is ki and this is hon. Now, this is a key which you cut, you make paper and from paper you make hon. So, you cut a key and you make hon. That is how hon has come into being. This also has another meaning, but for the time being we will just stick to hon. Well, now we have uh, kanji words for you over here. You already know the words, but you do not know the kanji characters and it is always good to know kanji characters because it is easy to understand. So, well, we have Tokyo, Nihongo, Hitori, Tomodachi. All this you already know, I will just tell you the kanji characters. Well, for Tokyo it is To, To means east and Kyo is Kyo is a Kyo means capital. So, well east of the old capital is Tokyo, east of this old capital which is which was Kyoto or Kyoto as you know is Tokyo which is the present capital of Japan. And then we also have Nihongo over here, Nihongo, Nihon you already know, Nihon, we have done it a number of times, Nihon which means Japan and Go means language. So, it is a combination of three characters to make language over here. I will make those characters for you once very, very quickly and then explain. So, well, this character is 1, 2 and then 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. This means to speak or to say something. The next character is go, which is 5, ichi ni san shi and go, you have already done and then this character is kuchi, which again you have done. So, well, trying to speak so many words from your mouth would naturally lead to speaking a language. So, well, this is Nihon Go. Then we have uh, Hitori. Okay, I will just write Nihongo for you. Nihon and Go. Nihongo. And then we have Hitori, one person is Hitori. Now, the last one we have is Tomodachi, which means friend, which is like this Tomo and Dachi. It is again a combination of a lot of a lot of uh, kanji characters. So, once again one 
2 and 3 like this tomo tachi. So, these are some of the words that you actually have to do. Now, you can see the stroke order how it has been made. Well, the tree is over here, cut the tree and make horn out of it. Stroke order is 1, 2, 3, 4 and then 5. So, it is a 5 stroke character. We have go over here. So, let us see how many strokes are there in go. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, nana, hachi, kyu, ju, juichi, juni, ju san and ju shi. So, we have 14 strokes to go. You can practice it. The order is given over here. Well, this one is mimi. So, we have 6 strokes in this character 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then in the end we have 6. So, we have 6 strokes. Please get the order correct. Now, some words with Japanese characters. Ego, Hindi go, Kokugo, Gengo, Honjitsu, Hondana, Jimoku. Now there is some vocabulary, new vocabulary. Shizuka, Kantan, Yume. Shinsetsu, Jozu, Steki, Handsome, Taksan, Agemas, Kanai, and in the end, Chikatetsu. So the meanings are given you can revise it later. Well, now we have a small expression for you, a daily expression. Look at this picture, you can see this gentleman going and this lady saying bye to him. So, well, what does he say? And the time is 8 o'clock in the morning, the sun is shining bright and what does he say? Itte kimas. The person who is leaving the house will say itte kimas and the person who is at home will say itte irashai. So, I think that is exactly what happens when you leave your house, your mother says go and come and you say I will just go and come. Of course, now begins your work. You have your assignments and you have to do fill in the blanks. Also, you have to choose the correct kanji character. Listen to the conversation and answer the questions. Moshi Moshi, Rao san no otaku desu ka? Hai, so desu. Amit to moshi masu ga, go shujin wa irashai masu ka? Sumimasen, ima imasen, juji goro kaerimasu. Ah, so desu ka. Dewa sono toki mata denwa shimasu. Hai, onegai shimasu. Shitsure shimasu. Listen to the conversation and please answer these questions here. We will discuss the questions in our next session. So, now I leave you here. It has been a long lesson for you. I leave you here with what we have done uh, today in class. Practice at home nicely. Learn all your na adjectives. Make sentences with your friends and we will come back again tomorrow and do something new. Till then, bye bye and thank you very much. Mata aimashou.